Welcome in this tutorial for the game Havel Battle. In this game, you embody a warlord, and your goal is to highlight different creatures in your camp to win the battle. Here are the components of the game: seven creature cards, eight action markers, twenty-one item cards, and seven victory markers. The creatures represent the nation that you can have as allies: the dragons, the witches, the centaur, the night elves. The orcs, the vampires, and the trolls. Each one of them is associated to an item. It's by giving them these items that you will convince them. The number of the creature card indicates its power and the number of items available. Like this, you have five items for the nation of dragons, four for the witches, and so on and so forth. At the end of the game, the player who gave the most objects rallied the creature in his camp. By rallying a creatures, the player gained power points. The number of power points that you gain correspond to the number of the creature card. At the end of the round, the victory marker will indicate which player has the advantage on every creature. But how do you win the battle? Well, it's simple. To win, you need to either rally four creatures in your camp, or gain eleven or more power points. To do that, each player has four different actions available. Every action has to be used, but you decide in which order you use them. The available actions are secret, compromise, gift, and competition. Secret: Pick one card in your hand, and this card would only be revealed at the end of the game. You will be able to gain point with this card. Compromise: Pick two cards in your hands, and these cards will also be revealed at the end of the game, but they won't be counted. Gift. Pick three cards in your hands. Your opponent choose one, and you keep the other two. Then they will be placed next to the corresponding creature. Competition: Pick four cards in your hands and divide it in two groups of two. Your opponent pick a pair, and you keep the other one. Then the cards will be placed next to the corresponding creatures. And now comes the counting of the points. Each player reveal the card. That they use for the action secret, and place it next to the corresponding creature. Then compare the number of cards that each player gave to the creatures. The player who win the creature is the one who placed the most object in front of it. The victory markup now indicates which one won the creature. If each player gave the same amount of cards, then it's a tie, and no one wins the creature. The victory markup doesn't move. Now each player calculate the number of creatures that they won and their number of power points. If one of the player reached the victory goal, then the game stops immediately. But if none of them reach the victory goal, a second round starts. The victory markers stay in their place. The warlord returns their actions, and the second player becomes the first one. End of the game. Well. Let's sum up. If a player wins four creatures or eleven power points or more, the game stops immediately. If only one player reaches the victory goal, he is the winner. If a player wins four creatures and the other one wins eleven power points, it's the one who won the power points who is declared winner. You're ready to enter the battle, and may the best win. Thank you.